Now let's do a few things such as actually um, taking a look at the photo mm -hmm. um, and then see whether you can refer to it as a this photo and set it as a wallpaper. Yep, so I'm just going to open the gallery. Open the gallery. Okay, now she's There's taking a look at the picture. Okay. Set this photo as wallpaper. So again, Bixby is taking a look at the screen that you're looking at and, and understand that this photo that you're referring to is the one on the screen and be able to actually take it to the next step. Maybe just go back to home screen, not wallpaper. Okay, great. Now should we actually find some, uh, maybe uh, let's do a calling someone. You, when you look at it, um, you know, calling someone is a basic, basic feature of the smartphone. Yet how many steps that you take? You have to unlock the screen, we have to go to the contact, find the person, then press the home button. It's already five steps. Now she's going to demonstrate with a face recognition by unlocking the phone and pressing the big speed button and call someone you have to do it in one single step in a very frictionless way, mm -hmm. right? So first I'm going to use facial recognition. It happens really quickly. Call Chris. Okay, it's going to find all the Chris that she has in the contact. If she finds one person, then it's going to call right away. If there's a multiple one, then it's going to ask the users to see which one they're going to call, okay? Great. Now let's do a little bit more complex one, should we? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when you travel somewhere, you take a lot of pictures, and what do you want to do? You want to find all the pictures and maybe uh, create a photo album together? It's a very complicated step. You have to do so many different things. Now she's going to demonstrate how easily you can do by just asking Bixby to find those pictures from London, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just going to say, find photos from London. So she's going to select those pictures. By the way, these are real pictures that she took here. Okay. Create a photo album named London. Oh. Okay. Let's try once again. Create a photo album named London. So we go back to our albums. And then you can find. Right there, new photo album London. Okay, great. Now, the few more things that we're going to talk about is actually uh, the way that we Bixby is empowering camera, which is very, uh, you know, very common functions within the phone. A lot of times, using the camera in the phone, what do you do? Just take a picture, that's it. But when we looked at Bixby, how it empowers intelligent interfaces, we had to look at camera and say that, well, this could be actually be much more intelligent, right? Because you can actually figure out the object that is in the image and actually give you a suggestion. So we're going to demonstrate a few examples. Let's pretend that you are out on a dinner with your girlfriend or with your wife, and you want to impress that how knowledgeable you are about this particular wine that she, you are about to drink. So. Rather than actually going to search locations and trying to find every single thing, you just simply ask Bixby to find out more about this wine, and then actually you can uh, take a look at a lot of information that it will give you. Mm -hmm. Scan and search this wine. Scan and search this wine. What this will do is that it will enable big speed camera, by the way, and then it will give you multiple different choices. But since she mentioned that search this wine specifically, it will directly go into wine search mm -hmm. and then give you the information. By the way, this is from Chile. And once we are done, we're going to actually pop this one in the <laughs> Chile. Anyway, let's do a few more things that we can actually do. Whatever you, you know, whenever you travel to a famous destination, what do you do? It's like take a picture with you using your camera. 
But if you want to know more about it, then you go to different apps, and then you start searching what's about the locations. If you want to get some recommendations of restaurant and cafe, then again, you go to different apps. So we actually brought all this thing together into Big Street Camera, Big Street Vision. So let's say you are actually touring this famous location in London, mm -hmm. and you take a picture and you want to ask Big Street, you know, what is this place? Is it? So you can also um, access Bixby Vision by just pushing on camera, clicking the little button right there on the right left there. side. That's a Bixby button. Mm -hmm. Selecting a place. And then what it does is again it searches information about these particular places. It will give you the basic <coughs> information about it. And you can actually go and uh, all categories to to take a look at the other recommendations. What is nearby? I was actually um, sightseeing over the weekends. I was using Bixby in all of the locations. How bridge and whatnot. You actually work really, really, really well. Now, last thing that we're gonna show with the Bixby Visions shopping, right? So you <coughs> again, you wanna bring something to your girlfriend or your wife? And rather than actually going to the e-commerce events uh, looking for the particular items, all you do is just take your camera, uh, take a picture of the items that you want to buy, and it will actually give you recommendations. Mm -hmm. So you can also access it by just going to Bixby Home by short pressing the Bixby button, clicking the Bixby yeah. Vision icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'll select shopping. Okay, all the recommendations are coming up. You can do so quite easily with by actually also scanning the barcode or QR code and on any one of those items. Great. <laughs> so we actually show you a few examples of what we can do with Bixby. Um, on the launch, uh, Bixby will be available in uh, two languages, Korean and English. Other languages will be soon following, such as uh, US, Spanish, and Chinese. And other European languages also, we are currently uh, working to make it available to our customers soon after. Um, since this Big Sweet effort that we're doing is actually massive, trying to empower every single app that we currently control. So on the launch, we're going to only focus on 10 native applications that Samsung is producing currently, such as phone, contact, gallery, camera, Big Sweet Visions, weather, and so on and so forth. Oh, by the way, if you want to show weather, <laughs> can, can we check uh, weather in Berlin? Sure. What's the weather in Berlin? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have that kind of intelligence to be able to tell you. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so it will focus on the native applications first, but uh, we're going to uh, continuously after, you know, put the effort to make it available in other Samsung native applications and also other third-party um, application that we are currently partner with also will be released soon after. So Bixby is really about intelligent deep learning. So as we make it available to our public, we're going to get more user testing and data, and that will help us just to make it much more intelligent services going forward.